my razor. So, so Boy's Ballet Law says, if you face into the surface wind, you put your arms out. In the Northern Hemisphere, the center of low pressure is to your right and a little bit behind you. The center of high pressure is to your left and a little bit in front of you. And this is general. Mm -hmm. This is in general. So if you face in the surface wind, the low pressure is to your right and somewhat behind you. And you can track whether that the wind shift is to the right, whether it's veering, or the wind shift is to the left and it's backing. And that's important when we determine which side of the semi, which side of the low are we on? Are we north mm, of the okay. path of the center of the low, or are we south? So an occluded front, or a low pressure system, a cyclone, goes counter clockwise, right? Right. Low pressure. And they generally go from west to east and slightly poleward. Well, <clears throat> south of the path of the center of the low here, or another way they state it, if you are looking in the direction in the path to the right is the dangerous semicircle. And to the left of the path of the center of the low is the navigable semicircle. Right? And we call you looking into the path? You're standing here. Okay, so you're following the path. Right? Those are your eyes. So <laughs> to his right is the dangerous, to his left is the navigable. And they are labeled this, which is in the bowditch. This comes from the the bowditch. Because the wind direction here is in the same direction as the velocity of the entire system, right? So the wind speed plus the velocity, we end up with higher wave heights and higher wind speeds. If we are on the navigable side, our wind direction is in the opposite direction as the velocity of the entire system. So the velocity takes away from the wind direction. You get lighter winds and lesser waves. Ah, uh -huh. okay. And Boy's Ballot Law can help you determine where you are. If you face in to the surface wind, put it right on your nose and say, all right, the low is over here, and record where that is, and then record it like every half hour, every hour, and you're shifting to the right, so a right-hand shift, if you're located here and the system passes you, you are going to get all of these winds, right? This wind, this wind, this wind, eventually this wind. This is a right-hand shift. See that? So it's a right shift. Okay, right shift or is veering? And it's said to be veering. And this tells you you are on the dangerous semicircle. If you're located so you experience all of these wind shifts and you are north of the path of the center of the low, you end up getting this wind, this wind, this wind, right? So now we have a left shift. So we get a left shift and the wind is said to be backing. Right, these terms are how I, this is my association. Veering, that sounds a little more violent to me mm -hmm. than backing. Veering, backing. Okay, I thought it was the opposite. I thought backing wind was more dangerous than a veering wind. Mm. Interesting. So backing when you're on the navigable side. Right. And you have less wind and waves. Mm -hmm. Because your wind velocity is less the path, the speed of the low pressure. Correct. Okay. 
So the velocity takes away from wind speed on the navigable side and adds to wind speed on the dangerous side. Mm -hmm. And in the boutage, it goes through. If you find that you're on the dangerous semicircle, it, it tells you how to get out of it. You put your starboard bow into the waves and heave to. If it's a real bad storm, right? If you really can't make way, put, put the waves and the wind on your starboard bow. So you end up, if this is your vessel, put them on your starboard bow, you get away. Right from the center of the below. Right. And then if you find yourself on the navigable semicircle, put your starboard quarter to the winds and waves and it will drive you away from the low this way. Oh, okay. It's just, you're basically getting yourself spat, mm -hmm. spitting out from this. And it goes over, oh, I wish I could remember what it said, but it says if you find yourself right in the path, the wind does a certain thing and you need to go towards the semicircle. Let's say you're here. You want to get out of here and get, get yourself headed in this direction. So dangerous right hand shifts veering. Put your starboard bow on the waves and go into it. If you're on the navigable side, you got left hand shift, you're backing, put your starboard quarter to the waves. This stuff was written a long time ago, right? The bowders that we're using is a 200th edition. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I think it was 18, just right around the 1800s. A little bit before that, they started to publish it. First two pages of the Bowditch are excellent. It's a, it's a biography of Nathaniel Bowditch, and it tells how he took a book and he made so many corrections to it that when he went to submit these corrections, they said, what book is this? This isn't the book you started with. This is your book. And these practices, this isn't the most practical thing when we leave Chicago Harbor and we go an hour out <laughs> and we come an hour back. Yep. This is when you go a year out yeah. and it takes you a year to get home. Or you cross the Atlantic and you're out there for two months. Right, exactly. But this is very interesting. It is. Huh. Good. <laughs> 